Almost there. Just a little farther north and we'll be at the shrine. The landscape's gotten rockier. We're near Brodia. It's all mountains up there. I'm seeing fewer villages as well. Makes this a good place to hide an emblem ring, I suppose. Yeah. The closer you are to the Brodian border, the colder and quieter it gets. Look. Not a soul in sight. You're right. There's no one around. Except her. Oh! Take a little look around. Wait for it. I wonder what she's doing here. <laughs> she's crying. Oh, well, doesn't that break the heart? I'd better help. I am her prince, after all. I won't stand by when my people are suffering. Alfred, wait! <laughs> oh, what a scrape I'm in. Hey there. Huh? What's the matter? Something I can help with? <gasps> Z Z I knew we'd startle you. Sorry for popping up out of nowhere and... Zappy! You came just in time. I'm saved. Uh... I lost something earlier and there was nobody around to help, so I got real stressed out. Oh, right. I skipped over the niceties. You can call me Yunaka. Hiya, Papaya. Hiya, Papaya? Huh. I've never heard that one before. Anyway, what did you lose, Yunaka? It's a little round ring. Kind of shiny with a hole in the middle. Oh, and it talks for some reason. Come again? Yeah, I figured you wouldn't believe me. I believe you. It might be an emblem ring. Please, go on. What did it say? Hmm. Well, if I remember right, it asked me to take it to the Divine Dragon. To me? Is that... Did you... Uh, are you saying you're the Divine Dragon? Yes, I am. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I'm the Divine Dragon. And now that we're doing introductions, I'm Alfred, the Prince of Firene. Holy broccoli! Why didn't you lead with that? I think I just had a heart attack. Nope, false alarm. Phew. I'm so sorry. I never meant to impact your health. Yunaka, how did you find the ring? I was walking along the border, minding my own business, when I heard a woman's voice. Help me. I'm right here. I'm by your foot. Huh. You're quite the performer. Anyway, I picked up the ring and she said, Take me to the Divine Dragon. But at that point, I had no idea where the Divine Dragon was, so I told her I couldn't help. She knew the way, though. Told me to start heading for the capital of Firene. Oh, that's good advice. The quickest way to get to Lethos is through the capital. But on the way, I was attacked by bandits and ran off full speed. And now the ring's gone. I must have dropped it somewhere. Woe is me. Sniffle, sniffle. But now that you're here, you're gonna help me find it, right? Right? After hearing her story, this definitely sounds like an emblem ring. Probably the Ring of the Dawn Maiden. But that means someone took it from the shrine. Or it could be another emblem ring. We'll just have to find it and see for ourselves. All right, Yunaka. We'll help you. Golly, that's great news. She'll be so happy if you're the one who finds her. Let's start by retracing your steps. No sign of the ring so far. Maybe somebody got to it before we did. Yeah, everyone's combing the area. If it was lying around, we would have found it by now. You're sure you didn't lose it before the bandits attacked? I had it on me when I passed through that ghost town over there. Huh? What is it? It looks like the town's overrun with bandits. What? How can you tell? I'll bet these are the same chumps who ambushed me earlier. Let's take a closer look. They've taken over the town. These are the bandits I ran into earlier. No doubt about it. And that means one of them's got... Aha! Right there. You see it? Yeah. A burly guy with something glinting in his hand. That's gotta be our missing ring. What do you think, Divine One? Is it an emblem ring? Hmm. 
He's too far. I really can't say. You must have great eyesight, Yunaka. Yeah, I have a killer's eyes. What was that? Killer eyes! I've got killer eyes! You know, they're great at seeing stuff. If you ever need something looked at real good, I'm your gal! <laughs> anyway, what's the plan now? We've got two problems that need solving. A stolen ring and a town full of bandits. The ring's our first priority, but we can't leave them unchecked. We'll only attract attention if we all charge in at once. I say we split up. You know, send in a small group to recover the ring. Nice and stealthy. All right. Okay then. Come on, Divine One. You're with me. Okie dokes. If we go through here, I bet we can sneak up on that guy with the ring. Slipping through a side passage? Smart thinking, Yunaka. It's pitch black out here. How can we fight them if we can't even see them? Don't worry, Divine One. That's what I'm here for. My eyesight's so sharp, I can spot baddies even when it's dark or foggy. Till you get your hands on a torch, at least. Then you'll see as well as I can. There he is! Let's take him by surprise! Good idea. Please, take me to the Divine Dragon. <laughs> this looks pretty pricey. This'll net me a nice lump of gold. The boss doesn't need to know about it. <laughs> oh dear. You can't even hear me, can you? I hear her! That's the voice from before! That's definitely an emblem ring. Yunaka, will you help me get it back? Of course, you weirdo! That's why we're here! Right. Well, thank you. You know, now that I hear her, your impression was incredibly accurate. <laughs> Stop! You're gonna make me blush. Job. But my treasure. We got the ring. Heal us, emblem of dawn. shifting. Now victory lies ahead. Ah, so it is the Ring of the Dawn Maiden. Yunaka, I entrust this ring to you. Me? Uh, but I... She belongs with you. All I ask is that in return, you help us defeat these bandits. Will you join with Emblem Micaiah? Yeah, okay. I won't let you down. I can fight. The Divine Dragon looked right at me. I'm ready. For the Divine Dragon! I am your weapon.
power blooms in me. I'm ready for more. This isn't so bad. Let me at him! Looks like we got us some uninvited guests. Snuff the lights, you lot! You got it! You were a good fight. Did you see that? Looks like our cover's blown. They're snuffing the torches. Don't sweat it. We can relight them as we go. show you how to use staves. of the stewards.
Descends now. Ah! I won't forget you. Engage! I cannot afford to lose. darkest of places. Not forget your loss.
I have to keep everyone safe. I'm starting to feel it. Flowers eventually wilt. For the Divine Dragon. Look what you made me do. Ah! Hope is on our side. I am saved. A little late to be saving the day. We killed off the villagers ages ago. <laughs> Pick me up.
Dream well. That's the last of the bandits. You've been a huge help, Yunaka. If not for you, we'd be scratching our heads in an empty shrine right about now. I can't thank you enough. It was nothing, really. I wonder who took it from the shrine in the first place. It must have been those bandits, right? Uh, well... What's the matter? I have a... uh, confession. The thing is... I didn't find the ring. I stole it. Huh? I was strapped for money, and when I saw the shrine, I figured it might have valuables. I went inside, heard Micaiah's voice, and... Pow! There's the ring, staring right at me. I was just looking to make a quick bundle of dough. I I'm sorry. I see. When I learned that you two were royalty, I panicked and... Kinda... well... lied. Really, I'm no different from those bandits. I'll accept whatever punishment you give me. Hold on. You were planning to sell the ring? Yeah. Well then, why didn't you? You could have run for the hills as soon as the Divine Dragon handed it to you. We're useless in the dark. Would have been easy to give us the slip. But instead, you stuck around and risked your neck for us. Why? Well, because of Micaiah. When she started talking to me, I got this feeling that I just couldn't shake. I felt like... like I had to help her get to the Divine Dragon. Yunaka has shown me nothing but kindness. Fighting by her side, I saw a bright path ahead. When I sensed Sombron's return, I called out in the dark. It was she who answered. I am to blame for entangling her in all this. Yunaka has done nothing wrong. I hear you, but she did lie to us. As Prince, I'm not supposed to let that go without some sort of punishment. Lay it on me. I can handle it. How about joining our forces? Say, what now? We're on a journey to collect the Emblem Rings and defeat the Fell Dragon. I know it's a lot to ask, but will you pledge yourself to our cause? What do you think, Alfred? A fitting punishment? <laughs> I love it! Our army is pretty lean, so adding a new recruit makes a lot of sense. And Yunaka clearly has raw talent. She could be a real asset. I won't let you down. Thank you. Both of you. Don't mention it. And Yunaka, allow me to be the first to say, Haya Papaya. Uh... <laughs> Haya Papaya back at ya, Divine One. With that settled, let's hurry onward. We've got to cross into Brodia, right? Yes. Mother sent a letter to the Brodian King when we left the castle. He should be expecting us. Good. The Kingdom of Might. I'm curious to see what it's like there. Thanks!
Thank you. Oh my! Indeed. Right. Huh? Is that... Hey! Huh? You're the girl I met in Flora Mill Town. Vale, wasn't it? Oh! What a coincidence finding you here! I'm glad to see you again. You left so abruptly last time. It really caught me off guard. Do you live around here? No. I'm just passing through. Well, looking for someone, really. Who are you looking for? The person I must talk to again, no matter what. My sibling. You were separated then. I'm sorry. It's painful to be apart from one's family. Do you have any idea where to look? None. I don't even know what face to look for. We've been apart since I was very young. But they did give me something long ago. This. What a pretty stone. It's my good luck charm. I know that as long as I have this, we'll be reunited someday. I'm sure you will. But don't forget to take care of yourself. Look, your leg's wounded. This kind of thing happens all the time. It looks pretty deep. There. That ought to hold for a while. Thank you. You're quite kind to help a complete stranger like me. You're not a stranger. You saved my life, remember? That makes us friends, as far as I'm concerned. And friends help each other. Friends? <laughs> Should I not have said that? No, no. I'm just so happy to have someone I can call a friend like a dream. I can't recall the last time I was treated with such kindness. What do you mean by that? I'm sorry, but I have to go. Are you sure? Thank you for the bandage. Hope to see you again. There she goes. 
See you around, Vale.